another video and today we got my nfl week 13 prediction or week 13 oh my god week 14 predictions video sorry my bad um last week i ended up going nine and four so not too bad there that brings my total season record up to 130 and 63 i think i think i'm positive i'm positive um there is only two teams on the bye this week. I think this might be the last two buys we have, and that will be the Cardinals and the Commanders both on the bye. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, waste little time and get straight into this. Starting with the Thursday night matchup, you have the New England Patriots taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, yeah, just two not great teams here. Um, two not great teams at all. Patriots just... Putting up a big old goose egg against the Chargers last week. And then the Steelers were um, embarrassed by the Arizona Cardinals. Um, now, I will say that, you know, I, I last week, I you know, or on AC News, I kind of went ham on Kenny Pickett for, I called him a fraud, all this stuff. But he didn't really play in the freaking Cardinals game. My bad. He freaking, he didn't really play. Um, but the Patriots, dude, they just suck. I just, I don't see them winning a game much longer. I think they're on the Caleb Williams, um, they're on the Caleb Williams train here. And, uh, even if they don't get the first overall pick, I think they'll definitely try to trade up for it. So, um, yeah, give me the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're not a great team, but, uh, now they're the Patriots. The Patriots just, they suck. They really suck. So give me the Steelers. Um, to the Sunday games we go, and we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Bucks able to pick up a big win over the Panthers last week, and then the Falcons um, got a defensive win over the New Jersey Jets. Um, the Falcons are gonna have to they're gonna have to win this one to hold on to that NFC South um, top of the NFC South position are they going to be able to do that though i don't know we'll see it was a close game last time these two teams played the falcons only won by a field goal honestly i'm really tempted to go bucks here because i think their offense is just gonna play out outscore the falcons offense because the falcons offense has not looked good but i'm gonna take the falcons say they hold on to that number one spot go up to seven and six and knock the bucks down a few and uh yeah, gimme give gimme give the Falcons. It's I wouldn't be surprised though. I wouldn't be surprised. You got the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Um uh, the Rams last week, uh they got the win over the Browns. They actually didn't look too bad. And then I don't know, I think the Ravens run by. I don't know. There was a lot of buys last week, so don't don't flack me if I don't remember, okay? There was, like, a lot of buys. A lot of buys. Um, but I think they did have a buy. So, I mean, coming off the buy, playing a not great team, but not bad team like the Rams, I think the Ravens are just in a way better position to win this game. So, uh, yeah, give me the Ravens. Lamar Jackson continuing his run this season. Next up, you got the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. Uh, the Lions, obviously, um, picking up a big win over the Saints last week, barely pulling it off, but, you know, a, a win is a win is a win, um, and I'm pretty sure the Bears had a, had a bye last week as well, um, I could be wrong about that, though, I, I don't know, I really don't know, um, I mean, the Lions are just a way better team. They're just a way better team. That's that's all these games kind of come down to at the end of the season, you know. This team's a better team. You know, the Bears, they suck. You never know. Things could happen, but I got the Lions in this one. Dan Campbell biting kneecaps. Biting kneecaps. Um, so, give me the Lions. Next up, you got the Indianapolis Colts. 
taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, this should be an interesting one as the Colts obviously getting that big overtime win against the Titans last week. And the Bengals got the win on Monday night. You know, Jake Browning, he played incredible. Um, he really did. Just threw it to Jamar Chase every time. If we can just continue that, Jake Browning, you know, I'll help out my fantasy a little. Just just throw it to Chase every time. Every time. Just throw it to Chase. Do nothing but throw it to Chase, okay? That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Um, this should be an interesting one as, I mean, the Colts, they're riding a four-game winning streak. Can they keep that winning streak going? I think they can. I do. I really think they can keep this winning streak going. Um, I think, honestly, overall, they're the better team at this point in the season. I I know Bengals played really well last week, um, and they're trying to, they're trying to hold on to that, to that playoff spot that's slowly slipping away, but I think, I think the Colts will just capitalize, and they know that, you know, with, Freaking the Jags possibly falling, the Texans possibly falling with the loss of Tank Dell. They just they have to boost up these boards in the um, in the AFC South. So uh, give me the Colts, Minshew Mania. It's running wild, ladies and gentlemen. There in Indy, they don't you know. I forgot the Minshew quote. I forgot it on AC News the other day, but it's 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 a thing. Um, so yeah, give me the Colts. Speaking of the Jags, you have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Cleveland Browns. Um, Browns obviously taking a rough L to the uh, Rams last week. And the Jags also taking a rough L to the uh, Bengals, um, losing Trevor Lawrence. We don't really know the update on T.U.L. yet. There's a possibility that he could come back sooner rather than later. So you love to see that for Jags fans. Um, And, I mean... Mm. <laughs> I'm, this is a really tough game to decide. Do the Browns finally, you know, get it going? Or do the Jags get it going and finally hold on to that EFC South spot? Honestly, I'm going to I'm gonna take the Jags. I'm going to, even if T-Law doesn't play, I'm going to say by some stretch of the miracle, you know, the Browns, they also don't have their starting QB in Deshaun Watson, so... I think with that being said, I'm going to take the Jags. Eh, the Browns could easily win this. You never know. <sighs> but I'm going to say that uh, that the Jags get it done and uh, get a bounce back win this week, uh, knowing that they need this bounce back win. So, give me Duval. Next up, you have the Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. Panthers, obviously, just losing once again, because that's what they do. And then the Saints losing, that's what they do. Um, no, not as bad as the Panthers, though. The Panthers just 1-11. I, I feel so bad for Bryce. I really do. I really feel bad for him. Um, and then the Saints, you know, they got close. They got close to coming back, um, but they weren't able to get the job done. But I think this week, you know, playing a lot easier opponent than the Panthers, I think Kamara's going to get it going, and that Saints offense is going to get it going, and um, Panthers just won't be able to keep up because they they never are. They never are. So uh, give, me the, give me the Saints. Next up, you have the Houston Texans taking on the New Jersey Jets. Um, Jets be in New Jersey as they just lose again. They lose again because that's all they do. Um, yeah, didn't look good at all. Not one bit. Uh, the Texans, uh, they got the win, barely. They held on. They held on by a little stretch of an imagination. Um, but we're able to get the win in the end of the day. Losing their star wide receiver in Tank Dell, you hate to see that. Uh, but they're still the Texans. CJ Stroud's still been balling. And I think, you know, with other receiving core guys like Nico Collins and Dalton Schultz, I think uh, they're going to keep it going and uh, pick up the easy win here over the Jets. The Jets aren't just a comparable opponent. They really aren't. They they suck. They really suck. So uh, <laughs> give me the Texans here. Next up, you have the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, Vikings, I'm pretty sure they had a bye last week, 
And same with the Raiders. They also had a bye. Uh, two teams are off of a bye this week. Oh, God. I This is a really tough pick because the Raiders, I feel like, have just not looked good in the past. The Vikings haven't looked good in recent time with, you know, Josh Dobbs. He just hasn't played well. I mean, coming off of a bye, you never know. Uh, this is this is difficult. It really is. Mm. I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. Because I think their offense is just way more explosive than the Raiders are. Um, I think, I mean, it's week 14, right? I think Jettas is supposed to be back. Unless something happened and I was just under a rock or something. I thought he was supposed to be back by now. Um, but if he is, like, dad. It's time, it's, it's time to go crazy. It's time to go, it's time to go bananas. Um, so give me the Vikings. Uh, I think Josh Dobbs, after a bye, I think he's going to pick it up against a not great team like the Raiders. So give me the Vikings, I guess. A purple incarnations of Satan. Um, you got the Seattle Seahawks taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Seahawks, they caught a tough L last week against the Dallas Cowgirls and then the 49ers, obviously, getting that huge win over the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, huge, 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 huge win for them. Uh, needed that one. They go up to nine and three. And uh, these two teams played not too long ago, only two weeks ago. It was Thanksgiving night, and the 49ers decimated them. Do I think that could change? No. I think they're going to probably decimate them again. I know, you know, with these two teams, they usually split during a season, but the 49ers are just a way better team at this point. We saw it last week. Yes, the Seahawks played great last week against the Cowgirls. Um, DK Metcalf played really well, and that could show up again, but I think, I just don't think their defense is going to be able to stop uh, the 49ers, and uh, yeah, the 49ers are way better team right now, they're, they're just a way better team, so give me the Niners. Next up, you have the Buffalo Bills taking on the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, Bills, they... I think they had a bye last week. I'm pretty sure they had a bye. And then the Chiefs, obviously, losing to my Green Bay Packers. You love to see it. You absolutely you love to see it. Um, and, uh, yeah, usually this game would be, like, a much more hyped, contested game. But the Bills have not looked great. They really have. But if they pull off the upset in this one, they could be looking good. They really could. Could Allen be back if they win this one? You know, they ha- they kind of have the Chiefs' number when it comes to regular season. Postseason, that's a different story. But uh, when, it comes to, when it comes to regular season, play with these two teams, they kind of have their number. Allen kind of owns Mahomes in the regular season. Is that going to stick here, though? Only if the upset happens, I think. I think the... Chiefs are just a way better team at this point. I think the Chiefs, after an embarrassing loss like last week, I think they're going to bounce back and uh, get the win here against um, their kind of in-conference rivals in the Bills. So, give me the Chiefs. Next up, you got the Denver Broncos taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, The Broncos, obviously, losing on... uh, What's it called? What's it called? Against... Against the Texans, that's right. Um, and then the Chargers, they barely got the win last week. Barely. Um, against the Patriots. Um, you know. You never know what can happen with these two teams. AFC West rivals. Um, mm. See, I know it's probably obvious that I should take the Broncos. It It really probably should be obvious. But I just, I think after a tough loss like last week... With the Broncos, I think the Chargers need to realize that they need to lock in. They really need the win here against the Broncos if they want some sort of just anything, you know, anything. Uh, winning this game would put both these two teams at the same record. 
for the Chargers. So, I'm going to take the upset here. I'm going to take the Los Angeles Chargers. You heard it here first, folks. Give me Jay Herbo. Jay Herbo's about to lock in against Russell Wilson. Give me the Chargers. Why freaking not? You know? Yeah, why freaking not? Uh, we get to the Sunday night football matchup as it's the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Um, the Eagles, they uh, took the L to the to the 49ers last week. Not great. Not great. Um, and then the Cowboys obviously get that big one over the Seahawks, as we said. This should be an interesting one. Sunday night matchup, these two teams... If the Cowboys win this game, this puts both these teams at the same record. This possibly puts the Cowboys at the top of the um, NFC East, possibly at the top of the NFC. So there's a lot lining on this game. But I think, I mean, these two teams played before, and the I'm pretty sure the Eagles had gotten the win. So give me the Philadelphia Eagles. I just, I think if Hurts is healthy... And he's going into it. I think it's it's rare for the Eagles to take an L and then take another L. They usually, after they take an L like that, they're going to lock in. They're going to dial in. And they're going to just go bananas. So, uh, give me the Eagles. I just honestly, I personally think they're the way better team at this point. Cowboys have barely been able to beat a uh, above 500 record team this season. And I think that's going to continue here. So, give me the Eagles. Uh, we get to some Monday night games as we start with the Tennessee Titans taking on the Miami Dolphins. Uh, should be an interesting one here. Uh, the uh, Titans, they obviously took the L to the Colts, and then the Dolphins got the big win in Washington. Tyreek Hill going insane. Um and uh, this is kind of a lopsided matchup, in my opinion. I mean, the Titans, especially if Henry's out, because it looks like Tajay Spears is going to take the reins, it's 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 kind of game over for the Titans. It, no Derrick Henry means just sadness for them. Just sadness. Uh, Will Levis, you know, he actually hasn't been playing bad. When he's able to have that connection with his receivers, like D-Hop, he hasn't looked bad. So... You never know, but I'm going to take the Dolphins. There's just a way better team to a Tyreek. I was going to say Waddle, but Waddle hasn't really done a lot this season. Yeah, yeah. But to a Tyreek, that's the duo that everyone should be fearing right now, uh, in my opinion. So give me the Dolphins. And we get into the last Monday night game, and it will be my Green Bay Packers taking on the new Jersey Giants. I'll say New York Giants. Put a little respect on the name. Don't want to curse anything. Tommy DeVito. Tommy DeVito. He's actually... I think they had a bye last week. Yeah, they had a bye last week. Um, Tommy DeVito. He's, he's, he's that guy. He's that guy. Um, can he play a somewhat decent team like the Packers, though? We'll have to find out. Packers, obviously. Getting that big win over the Kansas City Chiefs. Love to see it. Uh, there's, there's more talks that, you know, these, these injuries for the Packers that could be costing us. Obviously, Jones is still out with his MCL sprain, and now Watson, we don't really have an update on him. I gotta find an update on him, uh, make sure he's, he's alright with his hamstring. So, looking yikes. But even when we don't have Watson, guys like Romeo Dobbs, he's made plays. He never caught, catch, he never drops the ball, dude. I swear to God. And then... Dontavian Wicks, he makes plays. Our t- we get our t- backup tight ends involved, like Tucker Craft. We even got Sims a touchdown last week, even with Luke Musgrave out. So, if we have if if Jenkins is healthy on that line and gives Jordan Love time, I think our offense can make plays. And the only thing we're, we're really relying on at the moment is our defense, still with injuries to guys like Jair, and uh, we just. Ugh, I want Jair back, dude. I really do. Uh, although these backup, these corners have played well. Freaking Valentine and Valentine. The Valentine and Valentine boys. And then, obviously, Jonathan Owens. He's played well. All these defensive backs. Uh, Rudy Ford. Rudy Pody Ford. Um, Keyshawn Nixon, obviously, making that big interception last week. So, if our defense can play well and can hold this Giants 
uh, offense who hasn't played great this season to uh, to little points. I think we can uh, get the win here on Monday night. So give me my Packers as always. Can we run the table? I sure hope so. If we win this game, it will be the first time we're above 500 all season. Can we? Can we lock that down? I sure hope so. So give me my pack. So yeah, that'll be uh, this video today. I gotta edit this, get it out to you guys. I'm literally recording this day of the Thursday night game, so I'm really last second stressing here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Bye, guys.